Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a huge issue with Star Wars. Star Wars is being fat phobic. The most recent example of this horrible behavior came from Andor. The Imperial commander, An Aldani, was fat shamed when the show filmed the scene of his wife helping him with his uniform. He was struggling to put on a sash and his wife made a comment that he expanded since the last time he wore it. And how dare they write in the script for him to collapse and suffer a heart attack during an intense battle later in the episode. How dare Star Wars focus on the weight of a man who is a bigoted individual who views the people of Aldani as an uncivilized group of disposable creatures and that all he cares about is his own advancement and comfort within the Empire who is controlling the galaxy in a bad way. Folks, Fat shaming is the real issue plaguing Star Wars today and dividing the fan base, so let's dive into it. Like that's ever gonna happen. Oh, Lord. Let's actually talk about something worth everyone's time. Star Wars movies. When are they coming out and what are they going to be about? Unfortunately, we have heard nothing but rumors right now as Disney continues to only release and talk about shows on Disney+, Plus, which is cool. I'm happy with the amount of content we are getting show-wise, but I have been waiting to hear anything on what the plan is going forward for movies. Rumors suggest Kathleen Kennedy is working on a five-year roadmap for the next batch of movies. And let's take a look at some of the info that's been put out there about future movies. One of the Star Wars movies currently in active development is Taika Waititi's untitled feature-length project. In May of 2020, Lucasfilm announced that Waititi had been hired to direct a Star Wars movie after his great work on The Mandalorian Season 1 finale. Waititi is set to co-write a script with somebody, and in May 2022, Kathleen Kennedy announced that Waititi's Star Wars movie was expected to be released in late 2023, However, with Waititi still writing the script throughout 2022 and production expected to begin in early 2023, this release time frame is very unlikely. And I don't even know if they're, I haven't even heard anything about them technically coming out with production this year. Maybe, we'll see, but if it's not even written yet, nothing's going to happen. And another Lucasfilm cinematic project currently in limbo is Ryan Johnson's Star Wars trilogy. Johnson was the writer and director of the second installment in Disney's sequel trilogy, The Last Jedi. And in 2017, just a few months before the release of The Last Jedi, Lucasfilm was so confident that this was going to be a great idea that they released a statement indicating how proud they were of the movie and announcing that Ryan Johnson would direct his own trilogy based on his own pitch. Then the only announcements about the trilogy came from Johnson, who stated it would massively differ from the Skywalker saga and explore new areas and characters in the Star Wars galaxy. But since then, however, developments on Ryan Johnson's Star Wars trilogy have been scarce, to say the least. After the divisive reaction of The Last Jedi and Johnson's current commitment with the Knives Out franchise, development for that trilogy has been put on hold. Despite this, Kathleen Kennedy and Johnson have both given updates on whether the trilogy would still happen or not, both stating it will happen after Johnson's commitments to Netflix have been fulfilled. And another one, and this one interests me the most, is a project supposedly in development by Kevin Feige. In September 2019, it was confirmed by Feige and Kathleen Kennedy that the duo was developing a Star Wars movie. After the announcement, it was confirmed that Michael Waldron would write the script after his work with Feige on Loki, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and the upcoming Avengers Secret Wars. Then in May of 2022, Waldron stated that his and Feige's movie was still going ahead and would not be a sequel to anything currently in the universe. Despite this, Kennedy denied that the project was in active development that same month again casting frustrating doubt over the status of this Star Wars movie along with many others. Another movie features Damon Lindelof. Disney held a two-week-long writer's room in October 2022 that included a vast selection of writers, including Dave Filoni, Damon Lindelof, Justin Britt Gibson, and most recently it was announced that Charmin Obey Chinoy, apologies on the pronunciation, who directed the fourth and fifth episodes of Marvel's Miss Marvel, was attached to direct this secretive Star Wars movie. Again, this is all we know about this, but supposedly some big writer's room planning back in the fall. And then a month later in November, after the Lindelof movie information, another Star Wars cinematic project was supposedly announced. In November 2022, it was reported that Sean Levy was in talks to direct a Star Wars movie. Levy's project is expected to begin after his work with Deadpool 3 and Stranger Things Season 5. So there are some interesting tidbits here, some interesting names of people who could be potentially bringing work and new ideas and stories to the Star Wars universe. 
We don't really have official announcements, especially like how we've been given announcements with the shows on Disney Plus over the last couple of years. And I've heard on other channels and podcasts that supposedly the new movies will focus on the events that take place after the sequel trilogy. And if that's true, uh, Kathleen Kennedy and company better have something legit planned because that is like walking back into the same burning building you just escaped from. The lenses of the fan base and all critics out there will magnify and zoom in on these post-sequel films, and rightfully so. We all know how polarizing the sequel trilogy was. I'm not going to get into it. And in a way, I personally would not mind seeing Ray, Finn, and Poe again. I had no problems with the characters themselves. I had no problems with the actors who played them. I think each of these characters could have an interesting post-sequel story. And also, I think they deserve some, you know, redemption and complete their arcs in a better way. But I do personally think that Lucasfilm should go in a different direction, but I'll delve more into that later. I want to play devil's advocate here for a minute with this idea. Poe's story would be the easiest, but probably the story that everybody would care about the least. I'm assuming his story would just be him assuming full command of the Resistance, and the movie could show his adventures mopping up the remnants of the First Order. Ray and Finn could actually have stories that could be redeeming. Despite J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson writing stories about keeping the Jedi Order destroyed, maybe a new movie or trilogy can have Rey rebuilding the Jedi Order and perhaps making it more progressive, changing up rules and beliefs a bit so we don't run into another situation of Anakin Skywalker and another Clone Wars situation. John Boyega's story, I think, is the most interesting because it could go in two ways, or maybe you could find a way to combine both. The former stormtrooper could look for ways to destroy the systems and the programs out there that keep making stormtroopers, as again, the resistance looks to take control of the galaxy and destroy what's left of the First Order. Maybe there's a Poe and Finn team up. Or perhaps Finn's story can be redeemed and it could flesh out the way it should have in The Rise of Skywalker with him actually becoming a Jedi, him being taught by Rey how to use the Force, how to make a lightsaber and use a lightsaber. And perhaps Finn could go off on his own adventure then with this lightsaber, also, maybe Rey and Finn can rebuild the Jedi Order and change things and make it more progressive and, you know, learn from the mistakes of the Jedi Order before them. I think it would make more sense to show the rebuilding of a stronger Jedi Order and an intergalactic government so going forward we don't have to have trilogies and movies kind of repeating the same thing of what we got in the original saga. Like, why don't we finalize that where it's like, boom, the new government, the new Republic or whatever, set up in the proper way, the Jedi Order has been changed to not have the issues and run the risk of starting a war and losing control again. Like, let's build off of that. Let's fix things so there feels like there's a conclusion there with that part of the actual story. But like I said before, I don't think Lucasfilm should return to making movies with sequel stuff right off the bat. That trilogy divided the fan base and is a big reason why it has taken them so long to cautiously plan the next batch of movies. There's a portion of the fan base that wants to see new things, new planets, new characters, new time periods. They are done with the Skywalkers, as they say. And I guess I could get behind that. Let's go back in time and explore some new time periods. I think Lucasfilm should expand on Star Wars lore, make more content that focuses on the Jedi and the Sith, how they rose to power in the galaxy. Let's learn more about the Force and the powers it provides to both Jedi and Sith. We've had plenty of wars. Let's move on to something different, like these ancient religions. The foundation of Star Wars was the Force, and how the most unique people in the galaxy, Jedi and Sith, used their Force abilities to affect the galaxy in both good and bad ways. One era, the High Republic era, which was a time period that lasted for centuries, ending around 82 BBY, in which the Galactic Republic was said to be at its height. It was also the Golden Age for the Jedi Order, who were significantly more active throughout the galaxy. And this was a time of expansion and exploration of the Outer Rim territories. And during that time, the Republic relied heavily on the Jedi to render aid and settle disputes through their peaceful methods. Then you have the Old Galactic Republic era that began 25,000 years before the events of Star Wars A New Hope. And around 4,000 years before A New Hope began the first of many wars that continued to affect the events of Star Wars. First came Jedi Revan, who won great respect as a leader during the Mandalorian Wars. His time during the war caused him to fall to the dark side, and when he became Darth Revan, he eventually formed what would become the Sith Empire, and then 300 years later, the Sith Empire returned, starting the Great Galactic War. It was a dark time in the Republic then, and continued until Darth Bane created the Rule of Two. All this stuff sounds interesting. Why don't we want to see the Mandalorian Wars? Why don't we want to see when there was more than just two Sith roaming around? And seeing what the Jedi were like, and again, you could focus on these powers and just understand them more, like what we have in these movies. 
And I've said this before in this video and in other videos, let's check out those unique areas of Star Wars that make it stand out compared to other space-themed movies and shows. Seeing more than two Sith at a time would be great. I would also love to learn more about the different powers, compare and contrast the powers of the Jedi and the Sith, and what must be done in training in order to gain those Sith powers, or gain those Jedi powers. So let me know what you think below, like and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter and TikTok at analyze this underscore YT. Thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see you on the next one.